Hey guys, I'm Roman. I'm Pisa. And on today's video, we're gonna show you what $10 can get you in Kuala Lumpur. This is our first episode of the $10 series. And as soon as we can travel overseas, we will be making more videos. So if you have not subscribed yet, consider to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Southeast Asia is well known for friendly hospitality, cheap prices, and of course, delicious food. We live in Kuala Lumpur, and for this reason, we decided that today we're gonna leave the experience as backpacker, and we will not be driving today. So let's see what $10 can get us in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur is the capital of Malaysia, and it has a population of 1.8 million people living in this multicultural city. 60% are born Muslim, 20% are Buddhist, 9% are Christian and 6% are Hindu. And everyone is living peacefully together. Chinatown is well known by all the backpackers for cheap accommodation and its proximity to all attractions around Kuala Lumpur. Breakfast usually starts with Roti Chennai and Tetarek and it can be found anywhere in Malaysia. So one roti chanai is one ringgit 40, well it's about 35 cents of dollars, and one tetarik is one ringgit 60, 40 cents of dollars. Our second stop is gonna be Central Market, which is located five minute walk from Chinatown. It is a center for Malaysian culture, art and craft located in the heart of the city. Under its stunning art deco structure, you will find more than 300 shops featuring local handicraft, textile, souvenir, collectible and restaurants. So we're just gonna buy a small bracelet. Yeah. And the bracelet for the hands costs only two ringgit. So two ringgit, it's about like maybe less than 25 cents of dollars. So it's very cheap. And the one from the ankle is three ringgit. So three ringgit is around 30 cents of dollars. So we're gonna buy two. Okay, I have you, my friend. Yeah. You hand it. Finger. Just pull, adjustable, eh? And then put one side. And then this side. Yeah, very easy, yeah? Very special. So this is Ed and Ed is creating like a dream uh, catcher like you can see over here and he also create all the bracelets that we just bought with Fiza. And to get to our next destination which is the Petronas Tower we're gonna need to take the train. Kuala Lumpur is famous for many things, but the two most visited attractions are the Petronas Tower, which remains the tallest twin tower in the world, 451 meters, and the Batu Cave, which are over 400 million years old and attract more than 1.5 million visitors each year. Inside the Petronas Tower, you will find a huge mall with more than 100 shops. And there is even a park at the back where you can go for a stroll, a children's playground and a swimming pool exclusively for the kids. Kuala Lumpur is a big city and to get to a point to another you will need to take the train. Of course you can always walk but you will end up soaking wet by the heat and the humidity. So it's now time for lunch so we're gonna take the train again and we're gonna go to Bukit Bintang. For lunch, we got uh, nasi goreng pattaya, which is rice with chicken and egg, and uh, limo ice, which is like just lemon juice, and both of them will be 10 ringgit 50. So if you convert to dollars, it will be 2 dollars 55 for both.
for 10 ringgit 90, which is $2.65. Visa order a Suzuka matcha latte. So we have another 6 uh, ringgit 80 cents to spend. So let's see what we can get for that. The first one? Um, any other. Uh, There's two of them. So, yeah. So with the six ringgit eighty that we have left, which is a little bit more than a dollar fifty, we bought two uh, meatballs and a bottle of water, and we're gonna give it to the woman just across the road. So at the end, with $10, we were able to buy one roti chanai, one tetari, two bracelets at the central market, one way by train to the Petronas Tower, one way by train to Bukit Bintang, we bought one nasi goreng pataya, one tea ice, we bought one sazuki matcha latte, and we bought two meatballs and a bottle of water. Okay guys, so this was our first video of the $10 series and if you haven't subscribed yet guys don't forget to give us some love and to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and we will see you on the next video. Bye bye!